everyone? Morning. 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 It's again, it's a very cold and rainy day. I know it's not, not usual in Taiwan. Indeed, even though I stay here for many years, I live almost one year, it's not usual. Uh, but I hope everyone enjoys the weather because I will say that for the Chinese, water will bring you fortune. That's always the way we look at the bright side. So it means that we get it together. 2020, remember last yesterday, Casey, our CEO, think that 2 billion. But the better I want to achieve 2 billion in 2020. Okay, so the first half of the keynote is about technology. Actually, I would be very I'm be nervous about talking about that because look at AI and 5G. Mm. We have Ericsson and we have NVIDIA. So when I talk about AI and 5G, I'll be very nervous because I need to talk something before then. But the important thing is that, how about AI and 5G? AI and 5G, I would say the cornerstone for IoT. There is a convergency that for the key technology, how they transform IoT ecosystem. Look at the keynote we had this morning, Advantech. We are the industrial IoT company. And we are here together with technology enabler and really key enabler for AI and 5G. Why they are so important? 5G, they enable IoT application with the speed they need. And while the AI, they can get the intelligence from massive data. And all these IoT application will rely on 5G mobile network in the future. Of course, it will be coming soon. There are several use cases for 5G. People think about 5G for most of the consumer, not in the industry, they think about mobile phone. Indeed, 5G is the give you very good user experience when you sell mobile phone. But that's not what we are here for. Actually, there are three cases for 5G, but two of them are extremely crucial for industriality. One is the show name we call URLC, because it provides you ultra reliability and low latency. This is extremely crucial for smart manufacturing, for robot, even for autonomous vehicle. And the other one is massive machine type communication. It's low power and it can connect a million devices. It's perfectly in the future now, now because it's not ready yet, for smart agriculture and smart building, especially for smart city. And um, people might think about, so when we are going to see that happen in industrial IoT? Uh, maybe Eric van Erickson will correct me, but if I understand correctly, right now 5G is mainly for enhanced broadband, so that we use on cell phone, and also we're going to introduce one of the better products based on that technology. For the two technologies I mentioned, use RLC and Massive NTC, maybe it will not happen until 2021 or 2022. And you might think, why we need to talk so early now? We have to be prepared. That's very important. We have to be prepared because application is there. But we need to prepare because the new sensor technology will come. The new product will come. Even though it's not there yet, but we need to do it in the current LTE technology first. Okay. So you might see this, the first, Adventa first, 5G right server router, ICR 4000. Uh, it's based on, as I said, enhanced broadband. If you don't have time to look at our product on the demo case, I strongly encourage you to go there to look at the product. This is very new. Uh, we just demonstrated that in the SPS in Germany one week ago. So actually, the demo unit is actually shipped by air to here. Um, hardware is just hardware. Everyone can do the hardware. But importance for Adventa is what the software value added will put on that one. You might remember um, yesterday afternoon on the product introduction, um, our product had from Pavel from Czech, the director uh, of the our server router, talk about we have two important software, which is DMP and what's our VPN. So DMP is very easy to understand for the software is that it provides a software management tool for device and provisioning. And it also provides a very important the feature that interoperability with the API and of course zero implementation virtualization. And VPN 
Aqua nodes Rivian, but it's important is that they are the fundamental, the basic one, must have one, the software package to provide from Advantech. But nevertheless, not just 5G, we have the full range of current technology for the LTE. Yesterday, our CEO talked about industrial app, like we have the decoupling, like the software package, not, should not be so heavy, it should be simple and decoupling into different industrial apps. Here, I also want to share with you for a different test through router. In addition to WebSS DMP and VPN, we provide more than 70 apps. The app that enable our customer can do easily portable conversion, enhance their security, and connect it to a cloud. Some of the customer, they might want to build their own app with their domain know-how. In this case, we also provide API for them and more importantly is that our customer, they can use the most popular programming language like Python C, Python and C or C++ to develop their own app. With the industrial app we provide for serial router and also the API for customer to develop their own app, this serial router is ideally to use in any industrial environment. Okay, uh, this one is quite complicated. But I want to point out is that serial router and gateway is not just a router and gateway. More than that, it is a smart age device. And we service and we're targeting for industrial automation, smart manufacturing, and infrastructure. Then let's jump to AI, okay? What are the three key factors to accelerate the AI application? Of course, AI needs a lot of data. Right now, the data storage and retrieval become cheaper and easier. So data science can use the data to train the machine learning model. But the important is that high performance computing. Without high performance computing, it might take hours and days to get the result and train. And thanks to technology leader, one of them definitely NVIDIA, with a new advanced computer architecture for the power of computing that can really speed up all the machine learning model. And lastly, AI is quite expensive for most companies. <coughs> Not all the company can recruit a lot of software engineer or data science or everything to do the AI. So it could, it's important for the open source AI framework. It's allow users, they can experiment their applications and build the trust from the technology. We talk about AI at the age. Yesterday we talked about bring the AI to the age, not bring the AI to car. But you know, some of the AI is still in the car for the training. So it's like <coughs> back and forth that bring the AI to the age for most industrial computing. But if you want to retrain, then of course go to car. But more importantly for industrial IoT application is that we use AI from data oriented to application oriented. So we all talk about how can we leverage AI technology in all the focus <coughs> vertical we are. Here is a full portfolio of Advantech AI platform. Uh, you might also see this yesterday, but I want to point out that in addition to all the edge computer in French AI system, all training server, think about the sensor, not just the video can do the AI. Video definitely is crucial to do the AI, but there are a lot of the data, including data acquisition. People want to do pretty maintenance for all the signal and all the number, all the parameters they have. And yesterday we also introduced on Qingpo is that WISE 2000 is a very tiny vibration sensor. All the data we receive and we can do processing and through our HAI to get the intelligence. Okay. Here on the should be more that I said yesterday is that most of us focus on age. Um, this is not that age we use PC, just put on the GPU car and we can run for the AI application. Yes, indeed we can do that. But how if we want to implement that in transportation or in the anywhere that oil and gas with harsh environment, we need a box, AI box, reliable can sustain industrial environment, still provide high performance. So we have a full series 
our Venture product line for MIC 7000. You will also see over there, um, the software is AI Navy. <laughs> Emphasize again to remind everyone that X Navy is uh, our software brand for our HSRP. So, NVIDIA released JSON platform on a small one, last computing power, JSON Nano, and to JSON TS2, and JSON Xavier. So it's perfectly a full product range if you want to do security surveillance or you want to do manu manufacturing for higher performance. This will be my last slide. Uh, people talk about that how to do the AI. It's not that easy, I have to say. And AI, even though NVIDIA here, I have to say AI is not magic. In the, in magic is not our product PD, it's not magic. So <laughs> we do have product the right type called magic, so people are like consider AI equal to magic. Some of the some of the um, some of the as I uh, as the inspection, maybe it's better and easier to do by rule based AI. But some of complicated machine inspection is perfectly for AI. And how to do that is actually like all the IoT projects is a long learning cycle. Um, we co create with a co-creation software partner, SmartSoft, and they are the software background and also with good AI technology. Not only for that, the most important is that how to find an AI partner, they also know vertical know-how. That's very important. Because a lot of AI startup, they know the AI, very good technology. But the integration between AI and vertical know-how, no matter smart transportation, or machine vision, that's crucial. So there will be the processes that for in Taiwan, that's our practice, and we hopefully we can find other partner in other countries so we can roll out the similar model. The model will be that definitely we have to train customer the AI, make sure everyone the full standing of AI. So the training will be very important with uh, for uh, for the vintage and for the customer and for the partner and the POC. And there will be long cycling for the customization. AI solution until we finally deploy it. So to summarize, IoT application has been talking for actually quite many years and uh, was taking taking off. But how are the what are the transformation technology to make it faster? AI is important. We talk about that in many in machine learning maybe two years ago. But now you talk about 5G. Why? Because 5G High speed, super high five speed, uh, super fast. Okay, it's really fast, so I think I cannot remember the word. Super fast and ultra low reliability, ultra low latency and ultra reliability will speed up the AI technology in the IoT application. Thank you.